It's been 20 years since the deadly anthrax attacks, weeks after the terrorist attacks on 9-11. Letters laced with deadly anthrax spores began arriving at the U.S. Capitol and other locations across the country. Five people died and more than a dozen others were infected. After the attacks, a federal biowatch system was put into place, but a new report finds that the system does not work. Here now to discuss is former Senate Majority Leader and current bipartisan Biodefense Commissioner Tom Daschle. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you, Larry and Robin. Good to be with you. Uh, why does the current system not work, and when did it stop working? Well, unfortunately, it never started working. We've spent over a billion dollars trying to make it work, and we just haven't been successful. The technology is out of date. The technology really doesn't work. Even the concept itself of having to check daily, manually, all of the different locations, and there are only 35 in the country, uh, none of that really works. So we've got to come to the conclusion that we've got to find a better system, and that's what our report is all about. We lay out a process by which we phase out or virtually eliminate BioWatch and come up with a new process that recognizes the importance of research, development, and deployment for a national system, not just one that's located in 35 places around the country. So realistically, what is the plan that could be implemented, in, in your opinion, that would prevent this from happening again? Well, actually, we already have a lot of the technology. The Pentagon uses it, NASA uses it, DARPA uses it. But what we have to do is to create a system that we can rely upon that isn't so manually driven, that's much more reliable, and that recognizes new technological innovation. We've seen a lot of technological innovation over the last 20 years. We just haven't employed it here. So is the plan to lobby Congress for more money to develop this system? Is that why you're, you're doing local interviews? Is there not bipartisan support for these preventative measures? Well, the commission doesn't lobby Congress. We don't have that, uh, that responsibility. But we do have a responsibility to inform, to inform Congress, to inform the administration, to raise the issues publicly across the country. That's what the report does, and that's really what we're hoping to do today. To explain it to the everyday person, though, what kind of stuff would you see in everyday locations to keep this from happening? I remember back in the day the mailroom was just handling mail with gloves. So what, what is ideally, you know, will be in place in, in the average business? Well, we've got to recognize that that the whole question of biological threats now are even greater than they were 20 years ago. So what we need is a capacity to recognize those threats, to detect them, and to preempt them before they become catastrophic. That's really the whole purpose of this, is to do a better job of creating a technological base that allows us to anticipate and address these challenges before they become catastrophic. All right, Tom Daschle, we appreciate you joining us. For more information, you can head to biodefensecommission.org or follow them on Twitter at BioCommission. Thank you, sir. My pleasure.